Well, hello everyone out there on YouTube. Welcome to my video. I am now playing Civ Rev. No, I gotta stop saying that. I'm playing Civ 6 right now. We have no idea what we're doing. We just planted our city, and here we are. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on. I got my warrior. I need to figure out the hotkeys, guys. What are the hotkeys? Like, M? Okay, M is move. I figure that out. F is fortify. Skip turn? Alert? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm blocking. Let me move myself, because I'm like blocking things. There we go. There you go, boys. Is that better? Let me shrink myself down a little bit. So you can see some things. See some stuff. There you go. There was a turn limit, but you could keep playing. This is Civ Rev 3. Alright, let's keep going. We're going to keep exploring with this guy. What the hell? Stone? There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Fam? Yo, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that like a village? Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Tell me more. All right, just kidding. That was too much. I kind, I kind of like the voice thing. I didn't want all that. I didn't want Wikipedia. What? Something here? I can barely see this dude. Oh, we can zoom! Check that out, fam! Check it out, fam! We're zooming! We're zooming in and- That's pretty slick right there, man. I'm sure this took a lot of time to implement. Zooming is a pain in the butt. Oh, it's dragging. I can drag the map, too. That's pretty sweet. Console peasants are not familiar with such mouse actions. It's drag and drop. Alright. Here we go. Explore. Whoa, did you see that? Look at him go. Do we need more of those? Choose production. Alright, so we have one population. So this bar on the left, this must be your... Uh... So this is your growth. So I'm one population here. One turn until growth. Alright, that makes sense. Two surplus. So we're going to overflow is what that looks like. Movement cost, one appeal. Continent. I'm in South America, apparently. And then nothing. Okay. So then what? Builder? Scout? I think we should get another scout. I want to know what's around me. I just want to see what the heck is around here, you know? Let me pop this chat out real quick. Pop out. There we go. It's a little more convenient. Whoa. Did you see all that info? So there's some hot keys here. If I press dot, oh, that's hot. You see that? I'm pressing uh, comma and period, and that bounces between my available units. That's pretty slick. I like that. What the heck is this bar? Health. So you got all kinds of hot keys, man. Let's move this guy. Oh, so we just got some gold right there. So we have 71 gold. What is this? Alright, that's culture. Science. Alright, that's pretty familiar. Faith. We got we got no faith. Move us to the left, Joe. Okay. We'll move you to the Stand by. Wants to be down here? How's this? 
There you go. That's probably a little better, huh? That mo better. All right. All right, and then this says, "Move us to the left, and you to the top right." <laughs> if I move myself to the top, I mean, look, that doesn't look right, man. Well, I'm like a floating head. That's no good. I'm just floating around, bro. I look like Ghost of Christmas Past or something. I think I think this is the way to go. I can flip myself though. Watch this. Audio video filters. Oh, can I not flip myself? I think I can. Crop, scale, render. I thought I could flip myself. No, I guess not. I thought there was a way to rotate myself here. Hello, hello, hello. I think this is going to be the best spot, I suppose. Here? Here? Going to have to cut it, I suppose. <laughs> hey, th this video is properly titled. We are... <laughs> learning a lot. Watch all this. Can I run across the river? Whoa. No man ever wetted clay Woo! and left it. Got pottery. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Here we go. Got it. So what did that give us? Well, I was harvesting of wheat and rice. Okay. I don't know. Does terrain affect movement? I don't know. Let's get animal husbandry. Let's follow this. Where are they at? Oh, that was sweet. Uh, let's send him off this way. What's out here? Gotta produce something, it looks like. Alright, so... Reduces population by one when completed. Not sure how this works. Well... Build... I don't think you can army up in this game, can you? Is there armying up? Is that a thing? I don't think it is. shrink myself down a little bit a little bit big better on attack than defense where's defense where's the melee strength range strength movement all right just make a warrior I suppose Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, Whoa. think of it as a building block. Whoa! Look at that. 
Did they give us money? Okay, got it. Discovering a natural wonder has inspired your people with the majesty of the, the universe. Your knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. Oh, right. Excellent. That sounds like a good thing. Uh. Your explorers have discovered the bar Great Barrier Reef. Okay. Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. What are you talking about? At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law How did I get this? He is the worst. I don't even know how I got this thing. With your people enthused to try a code of laws, government and social policy changes are free this turn. Okay. How do you access this? Aside from this prompt here. Drag and drop a policy to slot it. So these are my policies. These are my governments. My government is what? Chiefdom? Double experience for recon. Discipline. Urban planning. Okay, I don't have any diplomatic slots, it looks like, but I have... I cannot... No, wait, I do have one of these. Let's get some God King. God King looks good. For top left, is it? Oh, yeah, we're getting some combat. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. Okay, here's, yeah, here's the civics tree, tech tree, government, pretty much all the stuff I'm looking at. Religion, great people, <coughs> various reports. All right. Look at all these interesting little things I can pick. Can I pick anything here? Doesn't look like it. God King. Yeah. Doesn't look like I can change this right now. Okay. Does he want unlocks it? Unlocks when the political philosophy civic is completed. Divine right. Class struggle. <laughs> Suffrage civic. Exploration. These are interesting. I don't understand the whole civic thing. There's no. Uh, there's nothing similar. In Civ Rev, so that's a new thing to me. See ya, Bobo. Thanks for joining up, man. Uh, unlocks when political philosophy civics uncomplete. Reform church. Totalitarian totalitarianism. Oh, we got another person. Oh, we got to add that cool thing in. I guess to see my people. I got to see when my people join up. Put it right here in the middle. Alright. So yeah. I think we're good. Confirm. Is our policy agenda set? Yes. Sure is. Let's go, boys. What the heck is this? Is that a bad guy? Or barbarians? I think it's barbarians. Look at that crazy icon. You know, they're spearmen. I don't know that my scout can handle them. What's this guy? Oh, it's another scout barbarian. Okay, so we got some kind of civics tree. It's like civics is... The civic tree is different from the tech tree so I think civics tree is kind of like they just separated the civic type the religion the reli uh, 
government type stuff from the tech is what I think they did. Oh, I'm gonna whoop them. They're gonna get it. Foreign trade. Craftsmanship. Trade routes? Hell no, I ain't trading. Alright, 12 turns I can get... Okay, that kind of makes sense. So this is my civics thing. It's working on that 12 turns from now. So basically you got... Really you got two tech trees. So you basically have... Yeah, so they're both going side by side. Why is this got an exclamation point? I don't understand why it has that. Units need orders. Which one? I, I can't tell like when a unit is done. Just by looking at it anyway. Our city state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I uh -oh. think they will reward us handsomely. I don't know about this. Let's say, let me fix this stupid window. It's driving me nuts. All right. All right, there we go. Can this guy move anymore? Whoa, what the hell? Did you see that? That was like way faster than I'm what I'm used to. <laughs> no dogs in heaven then when I die I want to go where they went sure about that Will Rogers oh it's D Ross 54 <laughs> good night gunslinger see you later man Let's choose a research. Ooh, archery. Good old irrigation, mining, sailing, writing. Holy cow, this is complicated. Look at all that. Astrology. Sure. <laughs> no warmonger pe penalty. I don't think this guy can take him. The hell combat is like so fast. It's very confusing to me. Oh, I gotta produce something now. Builder? I don't know. That whole one thing confuses me. One means that's the farthest you can go on this turn. But in Civ Rev, that meant. I think that meant. That meant happens next turn? No, it doesn't. Well, it didn't show a number if you could walk there. So it's kind of confusing me. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I might want to change that just because I'm not used to seeing the combat quite yet. Um, 
Put that back. Actually, I think I want that enabled. Now that I've played, I think I do want the turns to end automatically. For now. Um... Okay. Nope! Found a coastline over here. Zoom back a little bit, get a better idea what's going on. Where's my health? Huh, <laughs> this guy's killing me. You see that? I got like no health right now. Hurting. Oh, no, wait. Actually, the warrior is that their unit. Mine is the scout. That's kind of confusing. I thought my unit would be on the left there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, what the heck? Did you see that? That guy was, like, practically dead. Oh, my nose. Don't sneeze. Ah. All right, let's see. Man, these graphics are pretty tight. How do I heal? Promotion available. What the hell? Woods and forest. Okay. Yeah, that guy was. F I don't understand how that unit like trashed that guy. I thought he was like practically dead, so that was a little confusing. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess we're gonna attack this guy and just see what happens here. Well, I guess he's all done. What the heck is? What is all this stuff? Ouch. Good thing we're not on duty. We're getting trashed right now. What does this mean? Oh. I see. <laughs> Faster movement in hills. <laughs> he got whipped. Oh, man. Are we going to put up with that? Yeah, I like the auto ending, the turn thing. Did a good thing. All right. All right. Built a granary. Found their we have city. recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful you know. and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. <laughs> okay. I don't think we can take the city. Can you army up in this game? I don't think so, right? Am 
They'd be mad if I stand here. Oops, I didn't want that. I need to research too. Sailing? Irrigation sounds like a good move. <laughs> I think we're all done building scouts. <laughs> and then armies. Whoa, what was that? this guy doing? Explore the coastline here. It's confusing. March around his city. I don't know what that red circle thing means. More powerful, but requires to fuse two units together, and also you can train the corpse and armies, but a greater production cost. Okay. I'm so used to the concept of having an army. So this is pretty, pretty different. All up in his wheat. That's right. What's up now, buddy? Those warriors enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. Let's get mining. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. Okay. Don't think can do anything from here. Fifty percent production toward ancient and classical era melee and range. That seems good. More production. Seems like a good thing. Let's go with it. Oh yeah, it's on. What the heck is builds? Oh, this is a builder. This isn't even a warrior. This guy needs to get his happy butt back here. Yeah, so in Civ Rev, you have, um, 
see all those little workers running around, but that doesn't really happen. You don't manage the workers so much in Civ Rev. I mean, you kind of set them to tiles. But in this one, like, I think you micro it even more. Battle cry. Gotta choose a civic. Foreign trade. All right. Builder improves your citizens? Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Choose my pantheon. This is kind of like a religious thing. Holy site gets. There's a lot of things here. Industrial May May, what's going on, man? I'm trying to figure this game out. Idols? No idol worship, buddy. River goddess? Holy site? Oh, this is all like... Depends on what kind of tiles you have and everything. Production towards ancient... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Production... Yeah, culture from pastures, quarries, mines... <laughs> <laughs> Plus 50 faith for each barbarian outpost cleared. Increase healing by 30%. Oh, fertility rights. Religious settlements. Oh, that looks good. This is Civ 6, not 5. Bonus faith equal to 50% of the strength of each enemy unit killed within 8 tiles of a holy site. Ancient and classical military units. Okay. <laughs> Your progress towards mysticism has advanced considerably. Okay. That's great. I got a lot of gold. What the heck am I supposed to do with all this gold? Did they really have to get into the floating point numbers like 4.1, 1.9? Couldn't they just call it 41 or 19 or 3? I don't think we need the floating point. What happened? I moved. Now what? Oh, gotta choose some production here. Pump out warriors pretty fast. Look at it. Looks like my border expanded. I don't know when I should expand. Recommended. So they're recommending a settler to me. <laughs> Fighting cities in this game. Yeah, this nothing is really like Civ Rev so far, except like some like general concepts. I'm not really sure where I should be hovering when I attack like that. Oh! Deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner. Yeah, we got mining. 
What did I unlock? Mine. Builder ability to construct mines. Okay. So the builder makes the buildings. Got it. So in Civ Rev, you've got. It's just the building just kind of takes place inside the city. But now it looks like you kind of build around the city at this in this game. That's what it looks like. So these are like structures you build around your city. Is that what's going on here? Quarry allows chopping of woods and harvesting of copper. Okay. Sounds great. Oh, I definitely want to take this guy out. Um, okay, so this guy is kind of like my P, um, it's kind of like StarCraft when you got like an SCV or something like that. He runs around and builds all your stuff. Remove feature woods. Okay, so this guy, well, can he just go over here and, <coughs> excuse me. What the heck is a Kurgan? I have no idea what that is. This guy's my SCV. Farm. What the hell? Gold and faith? Hell yeah, give me some gold and faith. I like money. I feel like I should build a... Uh, well... <laughs> nah, it's probably... What's purchase? What can I purchase? Oh, I can buy things. Here's where I can, where I can buy things. Yeah, I guess you can make cities landlocked, huh? It's not like a big water tile. It's like water, water, til water tiles are pretty much required in Civ Rev. There's really no avoiding it, even though I just won a game with no water tiles. Believe me, it's still required. Oh, you can rush units, too. Look at that. You can rush a settler for 160 gold. Monument for culture. Food and housing. Let's get a granary. Let's do that. For what? Food and housing? Where the heck do you see that? Okay, so city's got a status down here, too. Okay, so I got one building, religious citizens, um, yo, get that thing out of here. Purchase? Oh, you can purchase things with your faith? Let's just buy this granary and see what happens. I think it's this stuff. Food. Yeah. If I buy this, where's the housing? Housing? Housing, no? Housing capacity. Three out of six. Let's buy this and see what happens. Okay, so that got us three out of eight. But I don't know. What does that mean? How many builders I can have or something? What's housing capacity? One turn until growth. Okay, so I'm on a river, so that's cool. Okay, so that's, I actually really like that, that you can be on a river, and that's considered like a good thing. I'm not sure how that's considered good, but I see them on a river here. As you said, it's good to be on a river. I'm not sure how that's affecting my city yet. How big your population can be. Oh, okay. That's cool, so it's your max growth. Got it. May create new cities. Reduces cities population by one when completed. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. So I'm just checking this out. This looks like the city's stats. And then I guess this on the top left is your cumulative. That's like adds all your cities up, I suppose. What the hell is this report? <coughs> so it's like a city report screen. Expenses, unit expenses, deployment, resources, city status. So yeah, this is a really nice table. Population three of eight. 
Normal growth rate, based on what? I don't know. Citizens are happy. Amenities, war wariness. So you gotta watch out for that. And... Strength. I don't know what strength means. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So I got my settler here. I have no idea how to use this guy. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Just trying to figure out what the heck that is all about. What's this? Oh. This chicken bone over his head. That means it's my guy. I think. I don't really know what's going on with the city, but we'll see if we can. I don't understand the mechanics of attacking a city quite yet. Yeah, I know in this game they kind of get like, it's a little more sophisticated and you gotta be careful about that. Is he done? What do you build? What you build, buddy? Whoops. Whoops. Oh. So the city has a life bar there. So it's got this big life bar. That's pretty rough, man. I don't know if I'll be able to take that. <laughs> Looks like you would need quite a lot of people to take a city down. So what did that do? Can we go back here and promote him? No? Yeah, clearly a little bit different. I can't promote him now. Remove improvement. So I can just oops. Move him over here. Improve this. Build another Kurgan. That seems like a good thing to do. <laughs> yeah, so they pumped out a warrior and they just whooped that guy. So I'm paying for it now. Yeah, I just saw that. I, I was going to promote him and heal him, but I thought maybe I could do it after the turn. That is not the case. You must do it. You move my... Move my... Woo! Woo! Here I am. Flying through the sky. All right. Let me move this thing out of the way here. And I'll adjust this microphone a wee bit. This damn thing's always getting screwed up. Alright, that's good. So, what are the archers for? Like city defense? What are archers all about? Keep clicking on the actual icon instead of moving them. <laughs> what the hell is this thing doing? Oh, this is my settler. Isn't this rice? I can go use that, right? Can I stack units on a tile? Oh. Uh. All 
Alright. These guys are getting promoted. Gangster! Man, you guys are dropping serious knowledge. I just can't help it, man. I'm so used to attacking cities. <laughs> so what do you do with warriors, then? <laughs> if you don't attack cities. I'm so confused. diplomacy yeah, I don't know oh mm. how the heck do I ask for peace like where's the diplomacy I was having a good time. I was... I didn't really want to kill him or anything. Let's produce something. Let's produce... Stonehenge? Let's produce a holy site. Nah, monument. Uh-oh. Okay. I still don't see any diplomacy over here. Don't see it. Oh, this thing? I click my face. <laughs> Ooh. That thing? Oh, you gotta click city states and then. Peace possible in four turns. There you go. <laughs> Those guys were cool. We were just testing. Oh, wait, can I promote this guy? Get this thing out of here. Yeah, I can promote this guy. I think I've almost explored the extent of the map here. Who are all these guys? 
I don't know, but I need to heal. <laughs> think right here might be kind of cool. Here? I think that's a good spot. Oh, you heal faster in your own territory? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's a Kabul warrior. That's what that is. The little chicken nugget over there. Get back! It's mine. Your soldiers hope your victory over a barbarian outpost is the start of a long line of military successes. Your progress toward military tradition has advanced considerably. Okay. Your knowledge of bronze working has advanced considerably. Considerably. That's good. Bronze weapons. Be carving them up. Uh, okay, where's the... How do I make a city? How do I do it? No water. Oh, see, I can found a city here. Water availability guide. Too close to city. Why am I too close to city? How far do I have to get away? Oh, they got recommended settlement locations? That's nice. Damn. Gotta go far. Oh, you can't settle in the red tiles and super green tiles give you the most. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Okay. just fortify there <laughs> so the super green tiles give you the most what oh really but I can't settle there right Like, so you can't settle within three tiles of a city, it looks like. And then... So I can settle there? Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought this was trying to tell me that I'm too close to the city. I thought that was like... That's a general indicator for the entire map, I see. I see. Well, then why does this say recommended settlement location? That's confusing. Doesn't make any sense. Why does it say that? Because of the resource? Does it tell you if you don't have access to that quite yet? Because that one says requires sailing.
I don't know. I guess we'll go here. Is this gonna work? Hey, gaining a s city on the coast has given your civilization insight into the navigate into navigating the waves. Okay. My riv. All right. So if we click this, nothing's being reduced. I get a research going. <laughs> Allows builders to embark. The wheel. Let's get this. Let's get sailing. I've been fortifying. No, I got a bunch of warriors over here. What happened? Like, it's not really clear to me what's happening in the combat. It's like, Civ Rev is really clear about what's going on in each fight. This one is... Granted, I just started playing, but I feel like I barely can tell what's going on in the fights. It's like, why, why do I have to mouse over the combat in order to see what's going on? That doesn't make any sense. It should be, like, displayed at the bottom center. So I'm not sure if that's something I'm just screwing up there. Okay. Make an archer. And then, I guess we need a builder there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Alrighty. Can we have more than one? I don't think you can. It's kind of difficult to determine like what's good here. What's up with the exclamation point here? I don't understand why it's doing that. It gives you a predicted report of the battle at the bottom of the screen when you select it. This guy. Woo! I'm like surrounded by bad dudes right now. Hey guys, leave me alone. I was just, just kidding. So this is the what? Predicted report of the battle at the bottom. Whoa, there are a ton of barbarians here.
How did this guy get so surrounded? State workforce? What the heck? I think these warriors are going down. <laughs> that didn't look too good. I can't believe he's still alive. Automate exploration. Interesting. Sure, let's build a wonder. Okay. I'm not really sure how the whole wonder thing works in this one. Sure. I don't know what we do with them. Fortify? Skip? Alert? Ranged attack. So you can hit. Look at that. Pretty cool. Fortify, I suppose. A 34 gig update. Nice. Whoa, what's going on here? Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Bronze working, please. Oh, I'm back in my borders. Dude, this guy's like stuck. Uh oh. Oh boy. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city state. Becoming friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. An envoy, huh? Where does this go? Huh. I don't have any... I don't think I have one of these. Yeah, not sure about that one. Doesn't seem I can actually go anywhere. only three turns. Go for that one. Oh. Your government has slots for things? Alright, I got it. Gotcha. Damn, game is complicated. Send an envoy to Kaboom. 
Dude, I'm trying to send an envoy and you're like trying to kill me. Who the hell are these guys? Get out of here. Wait, what? You see this? What the hell are barbarians doing right next to my cap? So confused right now. Bronze. <laughs> yeah, appreciate the advice, the uh, help here. I, I gotta go to bed soon too. Anyway, it's just a nice little practice stream here. Trying to figure this damn thing out. I don't underrate well, a lot the value going on of here. military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. <laughs> it was so confusing I barely knew what the hell was going on there. Did I send my envoy? Do it. Confirm. Okay. <laughs> Good night, King Zor Zorby. Appreciate the help, man. Celestial navigation? What? Holy crap, this is complicated. Ancient walls. So this is a good practice game. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do a whole lot of reading up on this game. And uh, this is one of those games you're going to have to do a little research outside of the game. And then... Uh, yeah, just try to figure out how this thing works. Damn, another Civic? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It looks like my, I feel like my city's about to get overrun. You guys helping me out now? Looks like they're helping. I'm not sure it's like killing barbarians as big of a deal in this as it is in Civ Rev. Because in Civ Rev, it's like light life and death to kill a, a barbarian. Strength, movement. Forty production, fifty, sixty-five, thirty, forty, fifty. Okay. I don't know. Let's build one of these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. These guys surrounded me. I can't even move. Are you serious? So they got like different types of barbarians and everything? Don't appreciate this guy's like blocking me in here. Am 
Like, what do I do with these guys? What should I have in my city? I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oracle. <laughs> yes. Plop her down right there. Um, city center. Granary? Sounds good. Man, you need like a... <clears throat> you need like a... Um, like an official five-hour tutorial from the developers to figure out how to play this. I'm trying to imagine like a normal person trying to play this game. Because this seems pretty complicated to me. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Designing a game this complicated? They need to put the tooltips like on the tooltip. Like like with the hotkey is I mean. I don't know what the tooltips are like a lot. More food. I need horses? How do you know? Are they better at attacking? What does food even do? Grow the city, I guess? changing empires that rose and fell and you can foresee the future too I see so your government determines how many slots you get here that's interesting yeah it's pretty cool Yeah, that's really different. You have to have certain resources, huh? Drama and poetry? No way. That's... That's not gonna get me anywhere. Move to... Skip turn... Can I finally go home? So will they get mad if I go right here? Yeah, they will. I wasn't sure if I could just run around on their property and if they would care or not. No, go ahead and link them, man. I might check them out myself. If they're good tutorials, I might check it out. And uh, I'm still going to focus on Civ Rev for now. That's really what my uh, audience is interested in. My followers are interested in. So, and there's still a lot left that I want to do. I want to get a have a lot of videos I still want to make. But yeah, might weave this in from time to time. That didn't do anything. What are these guys? Warriors? This guy. <laughs> Your Grace, we have obtained greater knowledge in the art of building... Oh, Quill 18? Yeah, actually, I know that guy. Building around our cities will not only I actually make them have, stronger I've, I've against a foreign guy. invader, 
but will also allow them Actually, to I'm kind of like nearby enemies. <coughs> it's funny you link him. I kind of like When wasteful war shall statues overturn and broils root out the work of masonry. I was kind of modeling my channel after his because uh, I'm pretty good with the strategy games. Uh, RPGs are my thing too. Strategy and RPG. But right now I'm just kind of focusing on the strategy games. And uh, He's had a lot, of, a lot of success. His channel is huge. He does the Twitch and the YouTube thing. So I thought like... I feel like I... Play these games as well, if not better, than he does. So... Basically, just copy what he does, and uh, hope to have at least some percentage of success that he has. I got yeah, research. Yeah, there's horseback riding. Uh, so they got swordsman, unit building. Okay. So they unlock different things. District, I think, is like a city thing. City center thing. And then buildings are actually tile specific, I believe. So what do these get? Building, unit. Oh. I feel like that should say wonder, not building. Colossus is a wonder, isn't it? Building, unit, heavy chariot, building... Watermill. Oh, it says this is recommended. Get a library and a campus. something I want to do? Remove forests? I don't even know what that did. <laughs> I'm still learning in Civ Rev. Been playing that game a long time. Still learning things. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thought. Got it. This game wants me to get horseback riding. A strong economy begins with a strong well-educated workforce. Okay. I really have any idea which one of those are better. Games and recreation. Trauma and poetry. Wonderful. Let's go to our unit here. going on up here? <laughs> yeah, I think something strange happened there.
one of the wonders I think it was building or something like that. I guess I have to actually pay attention. Are these mine? No. It's a Kumasi. You punk. That's what you get. That worked pretty well. Build a wall. Do it. Kumasi Slinger, huh? Like, are you supposed to, like, guard tiles or something? Like, what's, with the, what's up with this spear guy just, like, standing in my tiles? That's not cool. No, this is my guy. Never mind. I was confused because it's a different symbol. That just tells you, okay. That tells you what he actually is. Not the, what team he's on. I thought that meant the team they're on. Holy crap, look at that thing. The oracle. <coughs> I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Oh, also look at that. the altar itself shall be called Delphinius <coughs> and overlooked forever. Well, that's cool. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Alright, I think I'm going to save right there and get some damn sleep so you all can get some sleep too. It's probably pretty late where you are. So, uh, well, unless you're watching it on YouTube, no, that's a different story. So, uh, I'm going to get some sleep, guys. Thanks for hanging out and checking out Civ 6. Looks pretty cool. We're still a little bit clueless, except for a couple people here in the chat. Uh, yeah, next stream is on Sunday night. That's still going on. This is a bonus stream tonight. And bonus Civ 6, so that's cool. And uh, still have no idea how to play this game, but that's to be expected in a game with this much sophisticated, so this much complexity, and uh, still figuring out how everything works here. Plus we're on the easy setting, so this game's... I wonder what it would have been like on Deity. Probably would have got destroyed. So, uh... I'm gonna do my little. I'm gonna do some homework, read up on this game, and I uh, got some good things planned for Civ Rev as well. So, see you guys next time, whether it's on Twitch or perhaps on YouTube. Have a good night, guys.